Get your subway set. I will. You will be mine. I will. You need to go back there and do your job. I will. Do your, do, your do your job. Do your job. Do your job. Do you y'all want this woman to make your food? She will not make my customers food and threaten to beat my for her racist. Come on out here and do your job. You got the right for the white girl. Somebody call the police, sir. Can you call the law? Why not? She's one person, and I'm willing to wait for their food that she's refusing to make. So, you won't call the law? Okay, well then serve your country and sit right on right there. I bet you got that vaccine too, didn't you? Yeah, you Democrat, socialist, commie bastard. Hey, oh. you damn call me no commie bastard. I took it because bad lungs run in my family. Well, I pray to God that you don't get hurt because that shit is all, it kills old people. It kills people with uh, heart diseases and bad lungs and stuff. I want to know what attorney is going to take that case, right? So just imagine that conversation. So Karen, you mean to tell me you went into the subway, you started a scene, you harassed others, you started to record everyone, you call a veteran, uh, Kami B word for taking the vaccine, and then there's some scuffle that's not recorded that you claim happened, and now Subway should be sued. Okay. I, I want you to call the police. Okay. No, the cops will be here in a minute. You're f rude. You're f rude. We're at Jack in the Box. We ordered some food, and our food is cold. And this is the behavior that we are getting from the employees. They said you don't need to go. We are right, Johnny. Right now. And I'm not leaving until I get my money back. Okay, it's fine. You just call me an idiot. Like who? Like who? You just call me an idiot. But you know what? You insulted us. And you using all kinds of foul language, like you just disrespectful for no reason. Not one person would disrespect you the whole entire time. I want my money back. Please give me my money back. This just call me an idiot. You think it'd be nice to you now? Please give me my money back. You were acting like. Here. I thought you were acting like. Me like. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The customer is always right. Don't you? Didn't you take customer service? Don't you know what customer oh, service is? You're not. I'm sorry, uh, oh, no. I'm not a customer. Okay, I just gave you money and I want my back now. Why are you gotta use foul language? Like, what is wrong with you? Like, what is your problem? Like. This jack in the box and the previous jack in the box that I was just at. Apparently, y'all don't know how to do your goddamn jobs. It's not an emergency. This is a non-emergency line. But I'm at Jack in the Box right now, and we're having an issue to where um, our food is cold, and they won't give me my money back. Okay, do you want an officer? Uh, we don't know yet. Um, I don't know yet. They're, they're just very rude here. This is the second in the box I've been to today. Graham, do you want an officer? No. Okay, so you don't need a police? No. Okay, have a good day. She called the police because her fries were cold. Ladies and gentlemen, I actually think we have a Karen of the year. <laughs> I, got, I know it's early to make that call. I know it's early to make that call. We're just in November. We still got a month and a half left. But I would dare say we have seen the threats of Karenicity. We have seen them threaten to call the police over really ridiculous things. This one actually did and spoke to an emergency operator about her cold fries and did not lie about why she was calling. I mean, this is an OG Karen. She said, hey, I'm calling because my fries are cold and they are rude. First of all, you're at Jack in the Box, lady. <laughs> you're at Jack in the damn box. You got kids in high school, you got college students. Okay, this is not a five star restaurant, it's a fast food restaurant. It is what it is. Why would I wait 45 minutes? My food is right there and I paid for it. So let me just give you my food because my Uber guy is still not here. He's another 45 minutes, that's two and a half hours now. Yeah. My food's right there. Give me my sandwich. I'm hopping over this bitch. I'm grabbing my food. Okay, I ain't playing. Yeah. It's my food right there. All right. I paid for that. All right. Let's do it. All right. All right. Because I'm going to hop over this bitch. Trust me. No. I paid for my sandwich. I get my sandwich. I don't give a I don't give a Give me my sandwich. I paid. Call the police. It's my sandwich. I paid for that. I don't give a I paid for my sandwich. I'm grabbing my sandwich. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Call the police. It's my damn sandwich. You guys, I paid for this. Call them. My name's Rob Haverson. Let them know. Stupid. Pay for this. Hopefully it's my sandwich. You heard that at the end, right? Hopefully it's my sandwich.
<laughs> he didn't know that it was his sandwich or not, he just assumed it. But let me highlight a couple of things here. When you go into an establishment, the people who are working there, they are professionals. It doesn't matter if they don't get paid the most money. Because decent people do not equate your human value based on your economic status. Only people who are not decent do that. 